Uh, Alright, hello, it's Canadian Modding here, and uh, I'm going to show you a Skype Resolver that I made. It took me about five minutes, no biggie. I was kind of bored. Um, I was requested by somebody to make it. I said, as long as you pay for the API, no problem. It's not a big deal. Uh, but anyways, uh, when you load it up, you get a message box that just says, Welcome to the Skype Resolver. It's created by me, coded than C Sharp. API was bought by Hypertropical. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, thanks Clem for the idea to make this and thanks Taylor for making the resolve tech or the Skype resolver text uh, you'll see that in a minute and then just says subscribe subscribe to our channels okay see that's what Taylor made that text right there uh, but anyways um, what we're gonna do first off is just uh, resolve a few people let's just um, hmm. Why not him? Um, I'm not picking anybody in um, on purpose. I'm just seeing random people. We should get um, a good response. It takes a few seconds because it's waiting for the web to reply. Uh, yeah, so you see we got the IP address here. And after this, uh, the colon right there, I think that's a colon, uh, is the port that their Skype is running on. So if you just wanted to kick the person off Skype, you would hit that port as opposed to port 80. Um, but yeah, that's his IP. Um, who else? Um, twist? No. Um, Hazeby? Why not? Resolve takes about five seconds, and you'll see the IP will change. Oh, yeah, right there. Two dot. Yeah, and then the port. Right there. Um. Hmm. Let's see if we can find somebody that it's not working on because there are people that, for some reason, uh, Microsoft have put a proxy behind them. Uh, so you can't get their main IP using this resolver, but there are other resolvers that you can use. Uh, I'm gonna look for somebody real quick that's like that. Let's try him. I don't know. Hopefully, I I, I kind of want to show you guys so you can see. No, he's got an IP. Uh, Ben, I think Ben might have a 168 IP. I don't know. Oops. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, there's that. And I'm also going to show you, you can, um, re yeah, IP not found. Uh, you can reverse trace an IP address so okay let's quickly actually let's find a different person oh this kid because he's such a random <laughs> 27 contacts um asking me for free recovery services anyways um so right there 66.77 for the most part this resolver works um, but if you were to see, I would change this to my Skype. It comes up saying you can't resolve me because, yeah, because I'm awesome. Uh, and then there's hacked clam. Can't resolve hack clam. I made it so you can't resolve hack clam, mayhem modding, me, and tropical. But you, yeah, see, uh, I should have put, um, input here and output here, but you know, whatever. Um, let's see, search the IP address and it came out of his Skype name. Um, I'll just show you quickly what happens with Mayhem. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so who's next? One more, and then I'm gonna go. Let's resolve him. I guess I can't fucking find somebody who's got an error, so... Sorry. 
Well, it's not an error. It's just um, the IP starts with one six eight dot something, and uh, yeah, that's uh, booting that offline isn't gonna hit them off. So don't even go for it. Uh, but yeah, actually, let's try. I really want to get this one six eight IP. I think he might have one. Let's try him. Unless I just have bad memory and I already tried it on him. Yeah, I think I already did. Don't remember. No, IP not found. Um, it's got to be somebody. <laughs> has to be somebody that has a Microsoft proxy on. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I don't even care. If you see an IP that starts with 168, uh, go GeoIP it and check and see if the ISP is Microsoft. Uh, thanks, Galaxy, for making me this background. It's pretty sweet. And I just noticed now that he didn't even put a watermark on it. So yeah, thanks. Uh, have a good day, guys.